are at war with Japan. But Australia will make him inch by inch, and that he shall not enter upon our country. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Hello, this is Michael Madden. Welcome to the next instalment of Virtual Battlefield Flyovers. We are back at Tullamarine Airport in Melbourne, this time in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 at long last. It is out and it is spectacular. Uh, as promised, I am recreating the flight I did last week from Sydney to Melbourne uh, in the new simulator. This will give you a good idea of the difference between X-Plane 11, which we used last time, and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, now this is brand new, there's still a few bugs, I've had a few issues with it um, today, it seems to be working okay now, um, but it is it is new, it's, it's the first version, I'm sure they'll update and fix a few things. First thing you'll notice is we're not in the 737, uh, they don't have one yet, it is coming, uh, this is the closest they've got. There is a 787, but it's so much bigger. This is the same size, uh, and it'll be a challenge because I really don't know much about Airbus um, A320s as far as flying them. Anyway, um, I've only had a couple of goes in this, uh, so I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'll work it out. Um, our, as I said last time, Sydney to Melbourne is the second busiest airline route on the planet, um, domestic, international or otherwise. And we're going to do that today, it is 6.30 in the morning in Melbourne. Uh, everything is default on this, um, from the x one we we're, were using, had lots of plugins, uh, as it often needs, this is just vanilla. Straight away I've got the aircraft up and running. Uh, flight plan is in, flying out at 39,000 feet today. You can see the cockpit of a Airbus is very different to a, a Boeing. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 package is on the way. Uh, load the bags in. Connect the jetway. Start loading Melbourne passengers. Ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320, could you please connect the jetway to the aircraft? Comes with passengers. And this is completely vanilla, straight out of the box, does all this. The amount of add ons you would have to put into X Plane 11 to get this to happen. Melbourne Ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray 320 requesting pushback. Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray 320 pushback request accepted. I turn my brake off for him. Melbourne Ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the right. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320, your request has been transmitted to the operator. Just look at that sky, absolutely beautiful. Again, this is completely default with X-Plane we had... Airbus uh, 320, continue taxi. We had uh, plugins to make the sky look better, plugins to make the airport look better, plugins to make Melbourne look better, plugins to make the weather work, plugins to make the aircraft look better. It's a problem with X plane. You want realistic planes, it's 30 bucks. You want a real realistic airport, 30 bucks each. You want better, better weather, that's 30 bucks. You want live traffic, that's 30 bucks. It just goes on and on and on. Uh, with this, just default, it's got everything. Um, th there are There is a marketplace where you can buy third party traffic and you can upgrade the airports, but gee, what they surprise, supply you with would have to be so damn good because what the vanilla stuff is, is just extraordinary so I know the 737 you have to buy extra 
there isn't a default one, which is a pain because it's my favourite aircraft after the after the Cessna 172. This airport Melbourne is just what you call vanilla. It's not handcrafted, it's just default and it's it's really good. So it's unlikely you'll need to spend much money on this. Takeoff runway 16 Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray 320. Okay, we've set our flaps to one. The brakes are on. We are good to go. Look at the colour of that sky. Take a look at that. Um, I'm speechless. It's stunning. Yeah, um, kind of lost for words here. It's beautiful.
now this is running uh, on uh, the ultra high preset e everything is um, no I took off vsync because I have a g-sync monitor and one of the settings I increased uh, the terrain detail I think I increased a little bit so it's it's actually higher than the uh, ultra settings and the PC is doing it uh, well, it's yawning through it to be honest it's doing it very easily okay we're reaching the top of the climb here 39,000 feet we are really high uh, this, these things do climb quickly and I guess one disadvantage of this flight path, it's at 39,000 feet as we make a turn here. Uh, I don't really get to show you the terrain all that well because we're so high. Uh, I've done a lot of GA flights and it is the, the ground, the terrain, the scenery is just stunning. Um, the sunlight reflecting off this river down here is just wow detail is just beyond belief. As we continue down, you can sort of see the landscape a little bit better now. Look at that. The water. I've not said much on this flight. I think it's a good reason. The simulator's doing all the talking for me. It's the city over there. I think I'll just shut up and fly it in. So we've come down really low here, lower than you ever really would, uh, just to get a bit of a look at the landscape. It speaks for itself. Yeah, this is default. There's the city. And there's no way you'd come in at 2,000 feet this far away from the airport, but that's okay.
been so low this approach might be a little hairy but I'll do my best as I say I'm really <coughs> unexperienced inexperienced I should say with this aircraft but I'll do my best I'm so out of whack here, I'm just going to bring it in. By hand. Attempt to hand fly this bad boy in. Get some speed off. See the terrain out there, the detail. It's just phenomenal. Now this airport, Sydney airport, is handcrafted. Oh, I've got the glide slope. Down in one piece, more or less. So this airport is handcrafted, and uh, wow, yeah, it's um, pretty phenomenal. Sydney Ground Airbus so Alpha Sierra X Ray 320, could you please connect the jetway to the aircraft? Oh, there you go. Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray 320, the jetway is going to be connected. There you go. Baggage service to come Sydney out. Sydney Ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray 320, could you please send the baggage? Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray 320, we don't know where the baggage is. Oh, well, that's a problem. Typical. Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray 320, baggage is on the way. There it goes. So 
so we unload the baggage, refuel the aircraft, put the passengers off. Uh, yeah, this is really impressive. Really impressive. I'm very happy the way my machine has run it. Watch those engines spool down. That's awesome. Just awesome. So that's it for now. That gives you a really good indication of um, what this is going to look like. I'm looking forward to Albert Jacker and the Western Front with this scenery. You can just see how incredible this looks. Uh, the Western Front should be clear and clean and should be able to see all the places and objects I want to see to show you and uh, I'm looking forward to it, uh, really looking forward to see what it looks like and so I think I've said before Albert Jacker is the reason that I wrote my book The Victoria Cross Australia Remembers, I think he's arguably not just the greatest soldier Australia has ever produced but probably one of the finest the world has ever seen um, and his exploits uh, beg a belief so I'm really looking forward to it to just show what this simulator can do. So thank you for watching. See you next time.